Hello and welcome. This video is going to talk about VMware's vCloud Automation Center 6.0, in this case basic VCAC appliance configuration. My name is Yves Sanford, I'm the CEO of the ComDivision Group and I'm going to be your host for this session. Before we start, we need to actually connect to the um, to one of our Windows hosts from where we can um, actually access the VCAC appliance. In this case, uh, we leverage a lab kit we have um, to just connect to that machine. And in our case, we are going to leverage an admin user, which is called VCAC admin, um, and use that specific user to log into the environment. Next, we need to open a browser. In this case, we are going to leverage Google Chrome for that specific task. Um, double click on it. And once it's opened, we need to first connect to the um, so-called uh, VAMI. So the um, um, specific vSphere appliance user interface before we um, can actually uh, move on from here. So for that, we are going to switch to a tab which we prepared. Um, it's not actually um, that difficult. Normally the URL for this is VCAC, um, also your um, VCAC appliance IP or host name. Be sure to set up um, fully qualified domain names in the beginning before you start because VCAC is not working pretty well with IP addresses only. So you go to the um, host name of your VCAC appliance, uh, colon 5480. Then you actually um, type in the username that's root um, usually and the password you defined during the initial deployment of the appliance. Um, as you can see, when you start the registered services tab is empty. We are going to come back to that one a bit later on. The first step is you need to resolve your host name. That's required because that is later on going to be leveraged for SSL and all kinds of other services within the system. Once this host name is actually resolved, um, you need to actually click on Save Settings. Next, we are going to um, switch to the SSL tab. Within the SSL tab, um, we are going to leverage a self-signed certificate as this is for a proof of concept environment. The common name is usually the fully qualified domain name of your VCAC appliance. In our case, it's vcac.cab.vdc.cdip.net. Uh, organization is Cloud Automation Bootcamp, Organization Unit Classroom, Country Code is US. And then you click Replace Certificate. This is actually going to take a few seconds, but uh, once completed, we can move on with the um, SSO integration. Next step is the SSO integration within VCAC. Remember, you need to either use the SSO appliance delivered with VCAC or you are going to leverage the SSO appliance which comes with vSphere version 5.5 um, first update or 505B, uh, otherwise it will just not work. Um, put in the SSO host and port, port is usually 7444. Um, username in our case is administrator at vSphere.local, we just leverage um, a vCenter server appliance. Enter the SSO admin password, click save settings confirm the certificates, click yes, and then again, it's a bit of a waiting block. Be sure to never continue to any tab until the request information um, bubble in the top right corner actually stops. Once completed, we need to check that the database is properly set up. We are going to leverage an internal database. You can leverage an external Postgres or Postgres cluster. Again, wait for the request information window to complete before you are actually going to show anything else. Um, as you can see, the database is fully set up, connection status is connected, so everything is fine from here on. Um, next is we are going to move to the uh, licensing segment where we need to actually enter a license for VCAC. That license is actually going to derive which specific features are going to be available also on the install portal. Um, 
you can leverage trial licenses, which are usually um, left with an expiration date, or you can enter a full license key. Again, be sure that you wait until the request information um, circle is completed. Otherwise, um, the system is going to delete just what you entered. So um, wait for it to finish, then enter your license key and finally press submit key. Next, switch to the services tab and wait for all the services to show up. For the services tab to be refreshed, um, click on refresh in the top right corner. Um, for VCAC to be um, fully up and running, this is going to be between 18 and 19 different services and all of them need to be registered. Um, for the system to perfectly work, um, check for the systems referred to in the install um, and a support guide. Um, most importantly, you will need the authentication service, authorization service, branding services, um, and several other services. Um, best idea is to check back with the um, VCAC um, setup and install guide, um, and that will tell you what services exactly you need. This actually concludes this very first and short presentation video. Um, we leveraged VMware VCAC 6.0 and uh, quickly guided you through the basic VCAC appliance configuration. Next step and next video is going to talk about the VCAC IAAS configuration. My name is Eve Sanford, CEO of the Com Division Group. Follow me on Twitter at um, Eve, Eve Sanford or drop me an email if you have any further requests to y.sanford at comdivision.com. Thank you and hope to see you soon on one of the next videos.